All right, so the rear wing was pretty well done and you guys smashed it, I'm sure. Um, we need to create the vertical piece for the rear wing. And what you can see here is it's pretty simple. Um, you're gonna use the spline tool to create this curve. We're gonna use the fillet tool to give that. We're gonna use that in the uh, in the sketch fit setting this time. And other than that, it's everything you've done before. So let's go through and let's get cracking. So first things first, let's start a new project. Um, and boom, good to go. Let's do this new sketch. Now, instead of coming over here and choosing front, I'm just gonna select straight on the XY plane and it's gonna send me to the front. It's cheating, it's not, it's just a shorter way. From here, we're gonna utilize, today we might draw a box. We haven't done one of those yet. Um, go to the polygon tool, click underneath and go, let's go a center, a two, uh, it's called a two point center rectangle, also known as a center point rectangle. You come across here, draw yourself a box like this, and I want the measurements to be 42 millimeters, and then press tab, and tab sends it to the other box, same as when we're doing angles, to 35, and press enter. Now, once again, you're probably gonna have to zone out a little bit, zoom out a little bit to see this. Then come up, and we're gonna select our fillet tool. Now, up here you can see, it's already set it as two. We wanna change that to not a 45 to a four millimeter fillet and then come through and select that and that. And that's gonna give us a nice little fillet on that edge there to, to create nice and circle. Now this is where design intent comes in because the next step you have to do after you do this fillet, otherwise it does not work. So then you can press escape, It'll leave the fillet there and we're gonna get our spline tool. We're gonna to use the interpolation spline again. You've used it before, you've seen it, let's utilize it again. So we're here and we're ready to go. What I want you to do is come through and I want you to zoom in and find the end of that. See how it goes green? Find the end of that and select that. Then I want you to click three times one, two, and three, somewhere in the middle of the, the nice little box there. And then zoom go all the way to the bottom and click on that very end point there. Press the green tick. If you don't click on the end point, you're gonna have mad trouble later. From here, we wanna modify this. You've seen it done in other videos. We're gonna come through and we wanna make this a little bit prettier. I'm gonna start by selecting that middle one and dragging that out. I'm then gonna come and grab these and just shift them to where I want them. You know, it never works out the first time. And sometimes this is gonna happen where you're gonna grab and it's gonna select all lines. I don't know why that happens. Um, as my class knows, I'm still very much so learning this program. I used a different program um, for the last, I've used multiple different programs and I've never used this one up until this year. And so there are some things that I still can't tell you why. But come through and really focus on getting something that you're pretty much happy with. And for me, when I'm looking at that, I'm like, man, that is a good looking rear tail wing. Now to solve any issues that may or may not occur when we're extruding, I just select the excess lines there and I delete them, they're not needed. Um, so I do that, I select and then press the delete button. Then I'm gonna press finish sketch. Next up, we're gonna do that famous thing and extrude, select it. It's gonna wanna bring it out 10 mils. You want it at 12 millimeters and press okay. From here, we need to come to the bottom, put in a center circle on the bottom. So go sketch, sketch on that bottom face. From here, as always, and I'm saying from here a lot tonight. I don't know why. I'm gonna select that and that'll probably do me. Now, so I selected the two outside lines there. I'm gonna get my line tool by pressing the letter L for the shortcut. And then I come down and find halfway. I'm gonna connect that halfway to that halfway. I'm then gonna get my circle tool, which is Control Shift C, or also just go up and select the circle button. And then I'm gonna utilize, go to the center of that and draw myself a three millimeter circle. And then I'm gonna press escape. I'm gonna select that line there and press delete that just to make sure the sketch is uncomplicated and press finish sketch. Finally, we're gonna come through and we're gonna do what everyone's been wanting to do all, all video is let's add some fantastic material texture to that. And it is, of course, walnut, as always. 
select that, come across, select that button there, press escape, and you have your magnificent walnut rear tail wing. Don't forget to save that. So come up, go file, save as rear wing, I'm going to say rear wing vertical. Um, it just differentiates between them. Cool. From here, guys, congratulations on finishing yet again another video. I don't know if anyone's told you this today, but you are a fantastic group of people. Um, and if you haven't been told that today, just remember, you're amazing, you're great, and when I grow up one day, I want to be just like you.